From edible duck embryos to rat-eating carnivorous plants, here are 10 of the strangest things found in the Philippines. Number 10. The Callao Man After spending four years exploring a network of caves in the Philippines, archaeologists found a human foot bone. While this might not sound all that exciting, it turns out the bone dates back 67,000 years. Now known as the Callao Man, he was found in the Callao Caves near Peña Blanca. This cave discovery was huge because this bone was 20,000 years older than the Tebon Man, who was previously thought to be the first human to have lived in the Philippines. This discovery also marked the awareness that the Callao Man not only could navigate the seas on a raft, but that he was a skilled hunter since there were bones from deer and wild boar found around the human remains. The hunting skills most likely predate this find, as tools way older than these human remains were discovered, but I'll tell you more about those later. He was also one of the earliest human fossils found in the Asia-Pacific region. Number 9. Purple Crabs You know that every time a new creature gets discovered around here, we all get excited. In 2012, five new species of purple crab were discovered. Where else? In the Philippines! The Philippines is extremely biologically diverse, but many species that we haven't even heard about before are already being threatened. Fun fact, Conservation International lists the Philippines as one of 17 countries that holds most of the Earth's plant and animal life. These freshwater crabs with wild purple colors were discovered on the island of Palawan. The nearby mining activities in the region are really hurting them, and about half of them are endemic. This means that these little guys can't be found anywhere else on the planet, and they're already in trouble. The sea keeps these vibrant crabs from being able to spread any further since they depend on the fresh water to breed and survive in general. One cool thing that happened from their isolation from other crab species around the world is that they've basically developed their own identity. This includes a purple-red hue that can't be found anywhere else. They can discriminate colors and use their coloring for social behavior. Number 8. The Laguna Copper Plate Inscription The Laguna Copper Plate Inscription is another important discovery that helps us better understand the history of the Philippines. It's a legal document that dates back all the way to 900 AD and is the earliest known written document in the Philippines. During the 10th century, scholars generally believed that the Philippines were isolated from most of Southeast Asia. There was the Khmer Empire which controlled the mainland, and the seas were mostly controlled by the Sri Vijaya, a maritime empire in the region. There were others, but we don't have enough time in this video. But there was no mention of the Philippines. Until the Laguna Copper Plate Inscription, or LCI for short. The LCI was the one artifact found that made scholars reevaluate the relationship between the Philippines and the rest of Asia. It reveals the influence of Hindu culture and names several towns and indicates there were interactions between the islands and the empire way before we originally thought. The copper plate was found during a dredging project in 1989 by a laborer. Even though he tried to sell it several times, no one seemed to care, until finally the Philippine National Museum bought it and an anthropologist started to translate it. There are supposed to be more of these copper plates that were lost, so if you're from the Philippines, keep an eye out! And now for number 7. But first, be sure to subscribe if you're new here and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest videos. Number 7. 700,000-year-old tools It's pretty incredible to think that no matter how far we come in the fields of science and technology, the world is still full of secrets. It turns out, the Philippines has many. Recently, some stone tools were found that predate the arrival of modern humans to the islands by around 600,000 years. Near the tools were the remains of carved bones, most likely between 631,000 and 777,000 years old. Before this discovery, the earliest evidence of ancient humans had been found in Luzon's Callao Cave, and it was the 67,000-year-old footbone I just told you about. This means that an ancient species of human occupied the Philippines much earlier than we originally thought. The fact that these tools archaeologists found were dated to about 700,000 years ago has rewritten human history. This means that early humans were able to successfully cross a huge expanse of ocean and populate the Philippines. Significant deep sea crossings were done much sooner than we originally believed. Number 6. Rat Eating Pitcher Plant What could be cooler than a carnivorous jungle plant? 
Well, not a whole lot. And take into account the fact that this innocent plant actually is a big bowl of death, and you really have a winner on your hands. Scientists recently discovered this new species of pitcher plant on the face of Mount Victoria. It also happens to be one of the largest carnivorous plants ever discovered and has been named after the famous naturalist and TV personality Sir David Attenborough. This species usually sticks to small prey like insects and spiders, and maybe the occasional mouse or bird if it was lucky enough to be captured. This giant version of pitcher plant is a specialist at capturing unsuspecting vertebrate. As you can tell from the name, it specializes in rats. The plant can lure these rats in with their sweet nectar scent, and when the rat comes near enough to drink the plant's liquid, it gets stuck in the gooey sap instead. Once the rat is trapped, acid-like digestive enzymes break down the rat slowly to be consumed by the plant. It's like a monster out of a horror story, and it's just as gruesome as it sounds. Number 5. The Death Blanket of Banton It's strange to think that the folk-style blankets we see adorning living rooms all across the country actually came from a much more ritualistic tradition. The essential elements of the blanket stem from the idea of the death blanket. So the next time you see an ethnic blanket at that cool girl's apartment, try not to ruin it for her if she doesn't know the story. The oldest known piece of dyed cloth found in the Philippines is called the Banton Burial Cloth. It was found in a wooden coffin in Banton Romblon and is estimated to be around 400 years old. The people from the area continue to weave these blankets to wrap their dead during burial. In the Philippines, cloth weaving is an ancient art and a long and complicated process, so it doesn't mean that the death blanket of Banton Romblon is the oldest, just one of the first ones to be discovered in such good condition. And it won't kill you, even though death blanket sounds kind of scary. Number 4. Adidas one of the strangest things about the Philippines might be the street food, so if you can stomach the idea of bizarre delicacies, this might be right up your alley. The first time I heard Adidas, I thought I was referring to the sports shoe company, you know. But it turns out it's something totally different. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I've heard that if you ask for Adidas, you're going to get some nice grilled chicken feet. The claws, tips of the toes, and the tough outer layer is removed first, and then it's grilled and basted so it won't be tough or scratchy when you take that first bite. Chicken feet are originally a Chinese delicacy, but when livestock supply was abundant in the 1950s, street food vendors chose to sell more expensive cuts of meat. But by the 1970s, the country had experienced an economic crash, so they went back to their culinary roots. Things like chicken, pig, and cow guts became valuable, and the pricier cuts of meat were impossible to get your hands on. The term Esau came from the word Sasaswan. Chicken feet aren't my cup of tea necessarily, but there are some people who swear by the street food in the Philippines. Number 3. Stripe-Faced Flying Fox While the name might be deceiving, it's actually a bat, not a fox. This unusual species of bat was discovered not long after scientists deemed it to no longer exist. The stripe-faced flying fox looks like a cute character out of a cartoon, and I'm sure the researchers were happy in this case to be proven wrong and discover the species was still around. A team found this fruit bat while surveying forest life on the island of Mindoro. It was a few days into the survey when a creature was captured in the researcher's net by accident. Boy, were they surprised when they finally were able to identify it, which wasn't difficult with its bright orange fur and distinctive white stripes across its brow and jaw. One of the coolest things about this story is that the closest living relative to this species lives 750 miles away on an island in Indonesia. It's safe to say, if scientists were wrong about this species of fruit bat, that means that there are probably other species waiting to be found. Number 2. Balut Here's another street food item that might shock you. Chicken on a stick is one thing, but balut is quite another. So what is balut? For starters, it's a duck egg, which doesn't sound so bad, but add the fact that the egg is fertilized and allowed to develop from 16 to 20 days before it's cooked, things get interesting. Unless you're a vegetarian, in which case you should just go ahead and skip to number one. At this point in development, the embryo looks like the duckling that it is, complete with eyes, beak, and sometimes feathers. So when you're picking up one of these, you're basically eating a duck fetus, and I just don't know how to feel about that. I don't think I would be brave enough to try it. Number 1. Oton Death Mask Don't be fooled by appearances. While this might look like some kind of torture device or a golden insect of some sort, depending on how you look at it, it was actually used for something completely different. Early people used to use gold ornaments to cover the face of the deceased, more specifically the eyes, nose, and mouth, which is similar to an ancient Chinese practice. These gold masks would protect the body from evil spirits. 
This Oton death mask was one of the first discovered in the Philippines and dates all the way to the late 14th to early 15th centuries. It also proved the Philippines were wealthier than many people believed and had a good source of gold. Probably why the Spanish liked it so much. Thanks for watching! Be sure to check out part 1 of this video for more fun things about the Philippines. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time! Bye!